Now the E8 lattice is actually an eight-dimensional crystal. And Klee's group projects this E8 crystal from 8D to 4D to 3D at a specific irrational angle to form their theorized fundamental substructure of space-time. When I make an irrational projection of E8 down to a lower dimensional shadow of E8, something remarkable happens. The object becomes a language. That is, it becomes a finite set of geometric letters, rules on how you can arrange those letters and freedom within those rules, which allows you to express or encode information. So, this three-dimensional quasi-crystal is essentially a geometric code, a code composed of symbols which express meaning. And this meaning is reality itself. <laughs>